Hola, ¿cómo estás, mis amigos? It is bilingual story time with Dotty and Monkey. Monkey, ¿cómo estás? I just said, Monkey, how are you? Mm, I'm bien. He just said, I'm good. And Monkey, how was your, how was your um, drawing? It's going really well. I like to draw. Do you? Do you like to draw? What do you like to do? I like to draw. I like to dance. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I like to go fishing. I like to ride my bike. What else do you like to do? Tell me. <gasps> wow. You sound like a fun friend. All right, monkey, shall we get to what we need to be doing? <laughs> I know, you really enjoy talking with the friends, and that's great. We're just going to get to talking about la ropa today, which is clothes. So in Spanish, we're going to be learning the Spanish names for clothing, and then we're going to read one of monkeys and my favorite books, which is another monster at the end of this book. Monkey kind of covers his eyes when we go to read the book, but he can tell you there's nothing really that's too scary, right, Monkey? No, it's kind of funny, but scary, yeah. It's both, isn't it? All right, so let's get drawing on the back. If you'd like to join me, you're fine to join me. I am going to be going quickly today because we have a lot of ropa to talk about, a lot of clothing pieces to talk about. And we're going to be using some dress-up dolls with a um, la niña and el niño, a boy and a girl. So let's put monkey, monkey, you're going to go over here. Let's say a quick bye to the friends. And we'll see you soon, right? You're gonna come back? Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, set you aside, monkey. And we're gonna get our piece of paper out right here, and I'm going to adjust this because I know you guys really enjoy seeing what it is that's being drawn. That's the part of the whole deal, right? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna draw is we're gonna draw a el no la niña a girl and then la niña is going to have a half circle for her face and the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to give her a la gora a la gora a hat She's gonna have a little flower out of her hat. So we've got a la gora. And then we're going to create, let's give her some, we learned this last time, we're gonna give her dos ojos and a nariz and a boca. We're gonna give her eyebrows, some eyelashes, and let's give her some hair and ears. And so we've got a la gora. Now we're going to give her the first thing is a camiseta. Now a camiseta is like a t-shirt or a short sleeve shirt. So camiseta. There's her camiseta. Now, she really wants to have a la falda, which is a skirt. There's her skirt. I'm gonna give her some rufflies on her la falda. So let's go over it again. La gora. 
camiseta, la falda. We're gonna give her some legs. And on those legs are going to be los pantalones, pants. Now, if you were wearing a pair of jeans, you would say los jeans. But she's not wearing los jeans. She's wearing los pantalones, the pants. Now we're going to give her zapatos, shoes, zapatos. Let's go over it again. La gorra. Camiseta, la falda, los pantalones, and you know what? She's really cold, and she likes to be out in the spring where sometimes it gets warm, and then it gets cold, so she likes to make sure she has enough clothing. And underneath her camiseta, she is going to have a la camisa, a longer sleeve shirt. So see how I added longer sleeves? If I want to, I can add a collar to her camisa. Give her some manos. So there she goes. And we're going to give her just a little bit more pelo. So pelo. And that's it for our la niña. La niña. Now I'm going to gently pull this one off. And we're going to do... El, el niño. So we're going to give him a face and a neck. And we're going to make sure that he has what he needs to go outside because this guy loves to be outside. So does she. The la, la niña loves to be outside, but the el niño does too. But he loves to be out in the rain. He loves to fill the raindrops. We're going to give him a la gora for the rain. Going to give him some pelo. Um, remember, we've got those ojos, nariz. A boca. He is really happy because he likes to jump in the puddles outside. Now we're going to give him a collar. And we haven't drawn the rest because we need to give him a jacket. A jacket. Oh boy, does he love to go outside. So he's got his jaqueta and his lagora, his hat, his jacket. He needs some pantalones, los pantalones. And his mom really wants his feet to stay drier. So instead of wearing zapatos, he wears los botas. He's wearing boots, rain boots. So say it with me, las botas, not zapatos, las botas. Can you see his, oh, you can see his las botas. There we go. It's got his las botas, las botas. He has no manos. ¿Dónde está? Where is? His manos. Hmm. Let's give him some manos. Dos manos. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now he's got his manos. We're going to give him a pocket. Two pockets. Ooh, let's give him a zipper. Say 
I told you I was gonna go really quickly. So we make sure we get all the things done that we need to get done. Because we also have dress up friends. Exciting, I think it's exciting. So we've got him done and now we're going to Oh, we got to talk about one more item of clothing that we haven't talked about, but I was planning on talking about. So we're going to draw one more. Oh, this is going to be my last piece of paper, friends. And we're going to draw a madre, a mom. And this mom is going to be wearing a dress. So I'm going to give her that. I give her a neck and give her some fluffy flowies. And give her a long body like this. And then she's got a big flowy part of her dress. Give her maybe a belt. So, I give her ojos. Let me give her grande ojos. And a grande nose, a bigger nose. Because when you're an older person rather than younger, your nose is bigger. So we're gonna give her a great, wonderful nose. We're gonna give her a boca. And we're gonna give her eyebrows, and we're gonna give her a la gora. She likes, hers is gonna be like a sun hat. And we're gonna give her curls. I want her to, oh, there we go. Now she's really happy. And, I love her nose and her arms. So what she's wearing right now, so she's got a la gora, but she's also wearing a vestido. Say it with me, vestido, a dress. La gora, vestido. And let's give her some designs on her dress. And I think that's it. Like this. So now that we're finished with her and her vestido, we're gonna quickly get out our niña and our niño. And if you've noticed, they are already wearing those their zapatos. The niño has rojo zapatos, and the niña has, oh, they kind of look like they're negro, but they're not. They're really dark azul. They're blue. And we're going to start by dressing the niña. And this niña, she loves to wear lots of clothes. She really does. Because she likes to go in the monkey bars and hang upside down. But she doesn't want anyone to see her johnnies, her underwear, when her dress flips or her vestido flips or her falda flips. So she's wearing her los pantalones. And then she's wearing her la falda, her skirt. And she's going to put on her camisa. Wait a minute. Is this a camisa? No. It was say, no, Dottie, it's a camiseta. It's a t-shirt. And she likes to wear her vestido on top. So let's go over this again. Camiseta, la falda, los pantalones, zapatos, vestido. She's going to be really warm. So now when she goes up, 
on the playground and she goes on the monkey bars, no one can see her Johnny's. Now we're going to take the Nino. And he's already got his zapatos on. He looks like he's losing one of his zapatos. Let me move it. There we go. So we're going to give him some pantalones. Los pantalones. And then we're going to give him... Remember a camiseta, because it's not long sleeve. That would be a camisa, camiseta. And that's it. But you know what? Actually, that's not it. Because he and his sister like to take turns with a costume they have at their house and I'm gonna bring it up real quick to show you they like to take turns with the unicorn costume do you see that look at that unicorn costume he thinks it's great and she thinks it's great too they both really love unicorns and that is it monkeys coming back to finish this off, thank you so much. The story is next. Our book for today is Another Monster at the End of This Book. And friends, if you've noticed, Elmo is Rojo. And Grover is Azul. Rojo, Azul. This is one of my favorite books. Remember, we call this a libro. So, a book is a libro. We've got Rojo and Azul. And their noses are different colors, too. Grover's nose is Rosado. And Elmo's nose is Anaranjado. Let's begin. In this book, um, I get to read this because Sesame Street Publications gave me permission to read this story. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite books. Here we go. Another monster at the end of this book? Oh no, another monster. We will not go to the end of this book. Mr. Clover, turn the page, please. <laughs> Should we turn the page? I don't know. Elmo, I am not going to the end of this book. If there's a monster there, monsters are not to be trifled with. I'm going to stay right here on the first page. <laughs> okay, Mr. Clover, Elmo will go see the monster all by himself. Turn the page, please. Will you please stop turning pages? Every time you turn the page, we get closer to the monster at the end of this book. Elmo, come with me. We are going home now. Elmo? Elmo? Where are you? Turn your page. <laughs> he really wants to continue in the book. Grover does not. Oh. Elmo? Do you not understand that at the end of this book there is a monster? It could be a nice furry monster like you or me or Cookie or Harry. But it could also be a very big scary hungry monster with sharp teeth, claws and an attitude. Therefore I'm putting these hundreds of paper clips here just to remind you that we are not going to the end of this book. Oh my, Grover's really stuck the pages together. He's put those paper clips in. I'm going to have to really... Oh. Oh. All right, no more Mr. Nice Guy. I have now taken all the alphabet blocks and all the huge castle right here. No one can turn the page now. Turn it, turn it, turn, turn! <laughs> Oh my, 
Grover's really concerned about the monster. And what is Elmo feeling? He is feeling like he wants to continue and just keep going. Enough is enough. I, Grover, am now gluing this page down soon. You cannot turn it. And if you cannot turn the page, we will not get any closer to the monster at the end of this book. Do it! <laughs> Elmo's not afraid! Elmo, please, please, pretty please, forget about turning the pages. Oh, forget about seeing the monster at the end of this book. And come back with me to the beginning of the book. Please, pretty please. Fido Elmo loves monsters, Mr. Grover. Turn the page. This will stop you from turning pages. I, Grover, have put up a thick steel wall so no one can ever turn the page. What do you think of that, little Elmo? 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 Where are you, Elmo? there. He put up a thick steel wall. Hmm. Oh, this is heavy. Will you guys please help me? Please. Oh. All right. We will go see the monster, but just one little peek. Listen carefully. You tiptoe around to the back of the book, and I, Grover, will stay here. When I say turn the page, you jump in from the back of the book and I will jump in from the front. We will see the monster and then we will run like bunny rabbits. <laughs> and was thinking, oh, I like that idea. Hmm. Are you at the back of the book, little Elmo? Yes, Mr. Grover! Then here we go. One... Two, get ready to turn the page and then run like a bunny rabbit. Three, turn the page! Let's see. Let me just look. <gasps> Are you guys sure you want to see this? I don't know. There's a monster in this book. Grover was right. Okay, let's count again. In Spanish, uno, dos, tres. Here we go. Ay! Oh, there's dos monstruos. Two monsters. Did that surprise you that there were dos monstruos? Dos. Two monsters? I never thought the monster at the end of this book would be you, little Elmo. No, no, Mr. Grover. You are the monster at the end of this book. I saw you. You, 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 you. Whatever. Where are you going? Elmo's going back two pages to see the monster again. <laughs> Let's count with them. Uno, dos. We're going back two pages. Uno, dos. Ay! <laughs> Such a funny book. Now we're going to continue with the rest of our bilingual story time. All right, Monkey, what did you think about the La Niña, El Niño, the drawing, and... Monkey, you have no ropa. No, I don't have any ropa. No clothes. He has no clothes on. Not even a camiseta. No t-shirt either. No zapatos. Hmm. Monkeys don't wear them, do they? Some monkeys wear ropa. Yes, some monkeys do, just not you. Well, maybe we could get you a t-shirt. Maybe we could get him a camiseta. 
All right, friends. So, Monkey, do you want to help hold these and say goodbye? Yeah, I do. So, let's say goodbye to the Nino and the Nina and Monkey and Dottie. Goodbye, friends, and thanks for joining us to learn about Europa. Adios! Adios! Bye, mis amigos! Bye!